A Tamarack man has been arrested for sending profanity-laced threats to multiple members of Congress. CBS 4's Joe Murray talked with that man's wife. She joins us live right now from Tamarack with the wife's reaction. What'd you say, Joe? Well, uh, his wife didn't comment on the charges, but had plenty more to say about the raid on her home. Now, we did talk with neighbors here at Coral Vista, where this couple has lived with uh, their two sons for a while. But again, neighbors say they just cannot believe what happened. Like, I would never guess. Kiana Stedman, stunned to learn her mild-mannered neighbor, John Kless, is arrested and charged with threatening three Washington lawmakers. Congressman Eric Swalwell of California, who's running for president. Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib of Michigan. And New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, also a presidential contender. I don't really feel nervous, because I think he'd be pretty stupid to act out. But it's just a little bit shocking, definitely. Kless allegedly left profanity laced, threatening voicemails for all three Democrats, telling Swalwell, The day you come after our guns is the day you'll be dead. To Congresswoman Talib, a Muslim, Kless reportedly said, Tell your Taliban friends to shut up about 9 11. This ain't Trump's fault. And to Senator Booker, Kless is accused of saying, You're a disgrace. We need to kill all you. Through his front door, Kless's wife did not respond to the allegations, but complained about agents raiding their home. I'm sorry, but I have had enough. I had probably 12 men with ARs and lasers. They broke my son's bed. They took my property. I've had enough. The three lawmakers are responding to the troubling voicemails. Congressman Swalwell said in a statement, I'm grateful to the Capitol Police and Florida law enforcement for protecting me, my staff, and constituents. I'm running for president to make changes to our gun laws through the democratic process. I'm fine with people having opposing political views. That's your First Amendment right. That's fine. You can be a Republican and live amongst me. I'm not going to be upset at you for believing something different. But for you to go around threatening people and saying horrible things, to me, it just makes your point look ridiculous. I was given a $25,000 bond order to wear an ankle monitoring bracelet. We are told that he was released. Now, Congresswoman Tlaib is supposed to be in Florida this weekend. We did contact her office to see if the threats were going to have any impact, and we did not hear back. You might remember she was known for uh, making an expletive comment about uh, President Trump a while back, saying uh, they were going to get him. Lot tonight in Tamarack, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.